If you're swimming in the ocean and you see this, run fast. This is the Japanese Ningen. The Ningen is a mysterious sea creature that is said to be as big as a whale, has a human head and human hands, and lures people down to their doom. In 2007, some whale researchers said they saw this massive creature surface near their ship near Antarctica. At first, they thought it was a submarine, but as they got closer, the creature disappeared into the waves. Then, in 2010, a Japanese research team caught this strange looking creature at the bottom of the ocean floor, smiling at the camera. No, it wasn't me. Are you sure about that? At first, they thought it was just a rock formation, but some say it was a snaggletooth sea snake. But the first sighting of the Ningen was in 2005 when Google Earth captured this massive, scary looking creature off the coast of Namibia. Some said it was just an iceberg. And if you think the Ningen is scary, just wait till you see these next creatures in this video. And the last one is the scariest of all. But first, guys, let's check out a comment from Kimberly. Dr. Nosh, you look like the Ningen with your bald head. What do I, guys? And if you want your comment featured in one of my videos, make sure you leave a good or funny comment on this one. And watch to the end, because yours might be featured in this video. The Megalodon was not the scariest predator. No, it was your mom. Even though the Megalodon is one of the most feared predators in the ocean of all time, it wasn't the scariest. Have you ever heard of Leviathan? This whale is actually called the Leviathan whale. This thing was as big as a Megalodon and looked like a sperm whale, but it had teeth on both sets of its jaws and could take out a Megalodon easily. These divers came across this strange fish in the deep ocean. This is the doomsday fish, also called the ore fish. In Japanese mythology, these creatures are said to only surface when something really bad is about to happen. Typically, these fish live about 3,000 feet down, they're over 30 feet long, and weigh over 600 pounds. And in 2019, some ore fish appeared on the surface of the water right before a 7.3 magnitude earthquake in Japan that triggered massive blackouts. Giant shark fin in Marcasala. That fin is massive, but that thing's going to speed of a snail stuck in glue. Oh look, a scuba diver's of course going to take a selfie. If that thing's a shark, I'm a Swifty. Shake it off! Shake it off! Well, I shook it off. It's a sunfish, guys, and they grow up to 10 feet long. Candy, drop this comment on a video. My 11-year-old son subscribed to your channel, and now he's got me hooked on your videos, too. So thanks, you, Candy, to you and your son. Hey, guys, are you subscribed like them? If not, do it now. Appreciate the support. The ship is moving mad fast. Hey, did you see that spider? Bro is gonna go look out the window. Man, anytime you go look out the window... When I... Gosh, dog it, man! Why would that happen like that? Where did bro come from? Giant unknown creature, 40 miles offshore. Wow. I don't know what that was. Wait, turn around, go again. I don't know if I want it to come at me. Like out. At first I thought this was just a dead beluga whale, but if you look close, this is what we call a Pacific plastic bag fish. Oh my god! Ugh. Brother, ugh. What's that? What's that, brother? He found my hair! It's a basket star, which is in a family of sea stars. And what's crazy about them is they can actually grow their limbs back when they're cut off by predators. These saltwater crocodiles in Indonesia have apparently learned how to pretend to be drowning to lure humans in who they view as prey. So we got crocodiles pretending to be drowning before GTA 6, bro. Look, not his little hands poking out the water, though. I keep telling y'all to stay out the water before your face gets put on a t-shirt, but y'all don't listen to me. I think it's time we start having hippos as bodyguards. The final boss battle. Okay. Whoa. Uh-huh. He's running him off. Bro didn't want it. You see? The hippo only ever has one reaction. Hey, you want some of this smoke? Let's check out a comment from Milo. Can you explain the sea eater in one of your upcoming videos? Yes, I will do that in this video. And if you guys don't know what the sea eater is, pay attention because I'm going to show you. Hey. What's good, eh? Why don't you come down here, man? It's Pennywise's worst enemy. Bro ate the clown. Of course Florida has gators in his sewers, bro. It's always Florida, bro. You go for a swim in Florida and see this? Oh no! Some people think that Australians come from the UK, and that's true. But I think people in Florida come from Australia. Bro. Imagine jumping into the water at night, into this, and feeling these things all over you. Now look, you might think that's not a big deal, right? And you might think, those are fish. But check it out. Those are not fish! Those are cinder worms. And I guarantee you right now, somebody's uncle is out there trying to cook these things eight different ways. Yeah, I've been snorkeling several times. I haven't seen one of those yet. I have no that idea is what cool. that is. Wow, look how long. Filaments. Oh my god. Even the fish has better hair than me, bro. It's called Kagami fish, and they resemble a box jellyfish for defense purposes. I have finally caught the Mediterranean beef squid. Man. Like, look at this thing, bro. Fluorescent pink. They only come out at night. 
for sunset. They hunt guinea pigs on the shore, so you guys will definitely see this in that geo coming up soon. The giant squid is making more rubber sounds than some rubber chicken. Delightful Chameleon asked this question. When are you going to make a blue plushie? I really want to see one and how it's designed. I'm working on it right now and I think you guys are going to love it. So stay tuned. This is super scary. Wow, that snake is massive and longer than my attention span. Who that? Who that? Good gosh. How about being in a marsh where you can't see what's going on in the water is super scary. Guys, this is called the Nope Snake. Nope. Look how oh my gosh. That gator is going to go back to his friends and say, Hey, yo, I saw the biggest mosquito in the swamp today. Oh. Good gosh, bro caught my ex. He ain't lying. It's not AI, guys. It's actually real. It's called a whale's catfish, and its mouth is so big it can swallow a small kid. I had no idea where that octopus was taking me. It really felt like, okay, we're going on a little adventure here. We arrived at the back okay. of the stone, held with two cool. metal stakes, and I thought that was it. That's when I saw the photo of the gentleman holding the white fluffy dog. I cannot even guess what an octopus is thinking. They're thinking, this dude looks like one of you. Let me show you. Octopus are some of the most intelligent creatures. But hey, you need to give that octopus a reward. He went on a side quest. Hey, let's check out another comment from Landon. You should go swimming with underwater cameras so we can see. Because I don't want to go in the ocean. Bro, I don't want to go in the ocean either. But if you guys really want me to go in the ocean with a camera underwater, let me know and say in the comments, do it, Nas. But I'd rather you not, because I don't want to do it. Please don't. That right there. Slurpfish, give me some heel, bro. Big fish there, huh? Oh, yeah. Who gets in the water at night in the Caribbean? You, oh my god. No, the question is who gets in the water, period. Oh, Who's that? Dude. That what is shark? that fish? They are nuts. No, no, no. no. Seaweed, the big one. Yeah, but oh. Rachel, you're mad. But what is it? It's not a shark. So that's a tarpon, and they're a big fish. But I'm more scared of what other big fish are in the water. This is probably one of the coolest things I've seen in a little while. Okay, what I is it? I know what it is, but let me show you. I'm in yep. Volano Beach let me see. in St. Augustine, Florida. Florida. Oh. <gasps> what is this? I have no idea. It's moving. It is the craziest thing. I've like never seen anything like this before. I just want to know what this is. It's the Portuguese man of war and a highly venomous. Never touch one of those. Okay. Caught this baby shark. Hey, buddy. Little bro just spawned and doesn't know the map yet. Did you guys know that hammerhead sharks get their name because their heads look like a hammer? You didn't have to cut me off. Flip. Hey, He's gonna hey, flip. <laughs> that bird took something that dude did personal. Why does that bird laugh like an influencer though? <laughs> I warned everyone that this could happen. Scrambled eggs with a chicken nugget coming up. Bro just spawned in like, what map is this guys? Brugs left a comment on the video. I got your merch. Oh cool, this is what he's talking about guys. I have a t-shirt here about the Megalodon and I have another one about the blue that says you ready to go swimming. The link's in the description. Make sure you guys check it out, but not before you finish watching this video first. She's biting through the metal. Whoa, look at those fangs. I thought that spider was in a PC case at first. Bro, what are you talking about, man? That is freaky. Tarantulas don't usually bite, but they can. But look at those fangs. That's exactly what I imagine going into my skin when any spider bites. Oh, look, it's somebody's wig. Not mine. Mine's right here. Man, this is just unbelievable. Look at the stuff. What is that? <gasps> That's spiders. Oh my gosh, that's Daddy Long Legs, man. Look how creepy. I don't even care that those are Daddy Long Legs and they're harmless. It's just creepy though. Finally got the ant queen. Oh, he caught it. About time. Oh my gosh, run, run. Why is he just standing there? You mess with the queen, you get the whole squad, I guess. Yep, this is it for us. As experts have found this dark, angry, violent creature that feeds on just humans is crawling out and spreading rapidly that is watching and waiting to attack. It's called the Venom Squirrel and it's in the forest of the fake valley. Clark said on one of the videos, Dr. Nas, please do a dolphin video or something. I got you, little bro. Check this one out. This pink dolphin was spotted, and yes, it looks fake, but it's real, guys. It's rare. It happens when dolphins age and get scars, but don't confuse ocean pink dolphins with Amazon River dolphins. What's going on? And they have these itty bitty eyes, guys. Itty bitty, tiny, tiny, tiny eyes. Tiny, tiny eyes. <laughs> this water is super murky. These guys are apex predators, so they're kind of at the top of the food chain. And bro is about to be at the bottom of the river. So personally speaking, these things don't attack humans on porpoise. Get it? Porpoise? 
But I don't know if you remember, this one lady got attacked by a pink river dolphin in the Amazon playing with it and it bit her foot to the bone. Do you think it will survive? Actually, yes, if you give it more than one pellet so it doesn't bite his friend on the head. Come on, guys. And this is real, too. Turtles can have two heads. But what if I had two heads? Fastest boy. Still fastest boy. Come get some. I don't think you have any idea how fast I really am. I'm fastest boy. Did you know that turtles can run up to 15 miles an hour? Now you do. When you are six years old playing hide and seek, that spider's like, I can't see you, therefore you can't see me. Note to self, never step on anything with eight legs coming out the ground. I think his bow was a little deep than she expected. That's a cool one. <laughs> Sounds like that sheep drank a whole two liter of Sprite. That frog looks like a drawing I did when I was three years old. Now this is the purple nose frog. Has a face only a mother could love. And I bet his mama ain't pretty. Ew. Whoa! That's nuts! So this Hercules beetle sounds like this. Or this. Or even this. Don't let your grandpa see this. He's gonna think Vietnam War is happening all over again. What in the heck is going on here? The goat's walking like a dude. Why is the chicken following him? The chicken's about to be dinner. <gasps> oh, heck no, man. This snake's trying to disguise itself like a centipede. Not really, but it's still creepy. It's a puff adder, and they're highly venomous. At least these things aren't in Australia. Speaking of Australia, here's a comment from Player131. Australia's fine. I live in Australia. I don't get what everyone's scared about. The heck is that? How's this for golf today? They've all decided to settle in the middle of the fairway. Only in Australia can you be completely calm when a mob of kangaroos just roll up on you. And yes, I said a group of kangaroos is called a mob. I mean, look at those things. Like a whole bunch of deer that just escaped prison. This strange little creature is called a sea mouse. Somebody needs to get a sea cat because that sea mouse is creepy. These fish are impossible to release. Okay, what? Well, he just missed. Bro said I'm going to stay in the boat. I'm scared of the ocean, fam. Look at this. He's still not. He finally got out. That fish is my spirit animal. I'm scared of the ocean too. Shark laid more eggs. If you never saw what a shark egg looks like, check this out. They come in these little spiral shapes and they're actually called mermaid purse. Yeah, I guess we can imagine sharks having Gucci bags, I guess. If you're swimming in the ocean and you see this, run fast. This is the sea eater. The sea eater is this massive creature in the ocean that has two arms to keep it upright because it's over 80,000 feet long. And since the ocean is over 30,000 feet deep, the sea eater is lurking deep in the depths. It keeps its mouth open, devouring everything in its path, even the bloop. It was first spotted in 1862 and caused massive tsunamis. Then in 1927, a woman named Evelyn Mary saw what she said was a mountain moving in a distant ocean. The last known sighting was in 1930 when a fisherman said that he saw this massive creature in the ocean and later that day, coincidentally, there was massive tsunamis that triggered and destroyed the coast. And seeing the sea eater isn't the only thing that's scary. Listen to what it sounds like. The Sea Eater and the Ningen are both just legend guys. They're not real, but you know what's real? This t-shirt. You should check it out. Link's in the description if you like the book. But let's check out a comment from Milo first. Admire your bestie because I watched the whole video. Yes, Milo, and you guys, you are too if you watch the whole video. But you might want to check this video out or this video out before you go. You ready to go swimming?